we went on a trip to Mount Toratau, which is about a two-hour drive from Ufa city. It is a popular and important tourist site for locals, but unfortunately, it is not widely known to foreigners. At the starting point of the mountain, there is an information board in Russian and English about the area, as well as a tiny cottage where children can watch a short documentary on the area's history and fauna, and where you can purchase souvenirs and camping supplies. There is also a small display space with traditional Bashkir clothing and utensils, as well as fossilized marine creature from the late Paleozoic. These fossils are composed of materials, shells, and dirt that have naturally fused together. It took millions of years for these unique rocks to form, and there are a lot of them on the mountain, and they just actually lie beneath your feet. Before climbing up, we decided to enjoy kumis, a traditional nomad drink made from fermented horse milk. It tastes like kefir, but it's more liquid, sour, and slightly carbonated. According to locals, this drink extremely beneficial for your health, and boost energy. At the bottom of the hill, it's not very steep, but as you go higher, it gets much steeper, which makes it difficult to hide. A long time ago, there used to be a big ocean here. The Scythians, who were the ancestors of the Bashkirs, considered Mount Toratau very sacred. They held special ceremonies here, sometimes even sacrificing people. They believed that every river, cave, mountain, or forest had its own spirit, whether good or bad. Even after the Bashkirs converted to Islam in the early Middle Ages, some of their old traditions stayed for a while. They used to share stories about holy people buried nearby, and they visited these graves to pray together. But today, most of them have left these practices behind. Archaeologists do research in the geopark every year and discover iron daggers, swords, arrows, and spear tips, as well as pottery from BZ. We stumbled and encountered a bunch of wild onions along the road, which are edible and taste like leeks. Some people use it to make soups or as a meal appetizer. Torato's flora is rich in endemics, or species with a limited range. There are 21 endemic species recognized here, the rarest of which is Pimpinella tomiopila, which is found exclusively on this peak. There are also 15 rare and endangered plant species reported in Bashkiria's Red Book. The stony steppe in the higher areas has a very high abundant species. A stairway to the top was built in 2021. Some locals offered to ride horses to the steps so that visitors could start a trip to the top of the mountain from there. But we were close already, so we decided to go on our own. Tarato is the tallest mountain among the three in the Ural Shihan chain. There used to be another taller mountain called Shaktau but a soda mining company destroyed it to get soda. We couldn't see the remains of the mountain anymore, only flat ground. Torato itself is at risk of being destroyed too. People living nearby have been protesting and voting against the soda company because they want to protect the mountain. It is unclear what will happen next or what the Russian government will decide. So, the future of Torato is still uncertain. Back in 1870, a Russian researcher, Ruf Ignatiev, wrote about an interesting discovery near the mountain. He mentioned finding the remains of the rampart surrounding the mountain. The rampart, according to the Bashkirs, surrounded the camp of Nogai, who reportedly retreated to the south after learning that the Moscow ruler had captured the Kazan kingdom. It is said that Khan, the ruler of Nogai, hid his wealth in a cave inside Toratau before he left. However, the entrance to this cave was blocked by fallen rocks, making it impossible to explore without a lot of effort to clear the way. 
There are also stories that 20 years ago from now, there was a large deep hole at the very top. If something was thrown into the hole, like shoes or toys, it will be discovered in a lake 8 kilometers down the hill after a day or two. To prevent any accidents, the hole was eventually covered up for safety reasons. After our long hike, we decided to head downhill for a delightful experience at the Bashkir Cafe, serving halal food in the open air. We could hear melodies of traditional music echoing in the distance, guiding us with ease to the cafe. We enjoyed the authentic flavors of Bashkir and Tatar cuisine, including delicious chicken soup with delicate noodles, pies filled with beef, potatoes, and butter, and tea made with meadow herbs and honey from a local bee farm. The owners of the cafe also provided rental services, allowing visitors to relax for a few hours while listening to the relaxing buzz of bees. As our tour came to an end and we headed back to the car, we passed by the remains of a gulag prison that was in use until 1955. This prison, operated by the Soviet regime, held almost 13,900 prisoners who endured harsh conditions and were made to work for free during the oil plant's construction. According to many who witnessed it, this war camp near Toratau was among the most horrific. People slept on cold floors and had to walk bent over because the prison was tiny. The cold and illnesses cause many people to become ill and die. These ruins serve as a vivid reminder of the tragedies of dictatorships and the consequences of certain modern ideologies that rob people of their actual freedoms. Reflecting on the beauty of the mountain, the rich history, delicious cuisine, and ending up seeing the haunting ruins of the prison is quite an emotional roller coaster. It is a trip that leaves us pondering the value of freedom, the depth of human suffering, and the importance of remembering history's lessons. And how do we learn from such experiences? Follow us for more captivating adventures and stories.